Hi, everybody, and Happy New Year to you. Even though it's a few days early, Roger Smith with you. VipeFortBend.com coverage of Fort Bend ISD High School Sports, where we have the Ridgepoint Panthers taking on the Texas City Stingerees in round two of the tournament, the Brazosport ISD Holiday Classic Basketball Tournament for both boys and girls. We got a boys game today. Ridgepoint looked pretty good earlier today. It was really a walkover win, 81-28 to over the West Columbia Roughnecks and Texas City knocked the Kempner Cougars down into the loser's bracket with a win that was 57-39. to We'll talk about these teams and what makes them a good matchup for each other as they have playoff aspirations in the coming weeks and months. Again, Roger Smith with you, VibeFortBend.com, and our coverage is brought to you today by Xfinity, the future of awesome. By First Tyron Automotive with four great locations in Fort Bend County. They have the very best prices on tires. You can find out by going to firsttyronauto.com and anything you need done to your car to keep it running at its very best. They know how to do and they've got great discounts right there on their website at firsttyronauto.com. Eldridge Road in Sugarland, First Colony, Great Wood, and also Katie Cinco Ranch. We're brought to you by Archer Volkswagen. They've been open since 1956, and they are ready to serve you on the southbound side of the Southwest Freeway, just inside the Sam Houston Tollway. You will feel like family when you're at Archer Volkswagen. They are open Monday through Saturday. And also the Needville Insurance Agency. Let's face it, moms, dads, grandparents, you're taking care of teen drivers, especially the boys, and also preteen drivers who are going to be driving before too long, before you know it. You've got to get the best rate on your car insurance and also on your home insurance. And they have it at the Needville Insurance Agency. Bradley Stavanaugh and his team will check numerous carriers to make sure that they get the very best deal for your situation. So go to the Needville Insurance Agency, needvilleinsurance.com. We'll be right back and we'll have the countdown to tip-off show and visit with the head coach of the Ridgepoint Panthers. That would be... Darren Johnson in his first year with the club. We'll be right back. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Plus, you'll save hundreds over AT&T. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 12621. Restrictions apply. New connect internet 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Compares monthly service charge for Xfinity 600 megabits per second to at t 500 megabits per second each with one unlimited mobile line for a year as of 10621. Reduce speeds up to 20 gigs. <laughs> Welcome to the Countdown to Tip-Off show, and it's time to introduce a smooth criminal, Darren Johnson, head coach of the Ridgepoint Panthers. Winners today in the morning game over um, a West Columbia team that didn't really compete with you, and I guess that's really good when you're playing multiple games in one day, isn't it? Uh, yes and no. Uh, yes, to kind of get, for us, getting back into the rhythm after nine days off, um, it's, it's good to have one of those games, but it also can hurt you in a little bit where you build some bad habits. Um, but I think our guys approach it with a little maturity, and, and they handle it well. So we we'll hopefully be able to perform in the next one. When you go up against this Texas City team that you're facing in the second game of this tournament, you're going to see a, a bunch of really long players, and uh, I know you've got to be ready for that. Is there any team in 6A that... Uh, assuming you can get to the playoffs, which I think your team has a very good chance to do, is there a comparable team in the early rounds in Class 6A that has their kind of length? 
Well, for for us, obviously we played them early on this year, so we we're aware of the size. And I mean, obviously if we're if we're lucky enough to make it into the playoffs, they look a lot like the KD schools that we will match up with in the first round. Um, they're really aggressive. They they crash the boards really hard. They're well coached and and they're really tough. So. It's a good game for us. It'll be a good game for us to get back in the in the groove of things, and we're gonna have to play a really good game to beat them. Sometimes it's a real blessing to have some athletes who play on a football team, and as soon as the football season runs its course, you get a chance for them to be a part of your lineup. So I know that Gabriel Bro and Wilson Batiste are are gonna be great blessings for you, but. Have they already started to do what you expect them to be able to do? A absolutely. Wilson played basketball last year, and so did Gabriel. Wilson played on the varsity last year, so he's had a lot of varsity minutes. Um, and they're both just really tough kids, uh, extremely coachable. Um, they play hard, and they do everything that we ask them to do. Obviously, it takes a little time to get your football legs off of you and get your basketball legs in and, and get in the basketball rhythm. But so far, they've done everything we've asked them to do, and and they're a really good addition for us. One thing about Ridgepoint Athletics, you, especially in the boys' side, both football and basketball, you have the great asset of having guys whose dads were good enough to play professionally. I know that's, that's good because it, it means you have a, a player with good instincts and starting to learn things when he's very, very young that maybe his teammates don't learn until later. The football team had Bert Emanuel and Bert Emanuel Jr. And now you've got TJ Ford and TJ Ford Jr. Do you talk to TJ's TJ Jr.'s dad very often? I speak to him after games. He's done a really good job of being supportive. Um, he um, he does a good job with TJ, obviously, in the offseason, and he's kind of been hands-off with us so far, and he's really supportive. And, yes, it's really good having that pedigree and having him. Um, his IQ is extremely high, and I think he gets a lot of that from his dad, um, which for us is, is a blessing. And it, it's a joy to have on our team, for sure, <laughs> um, not to have to prepare to guard him. So, um, yes, it's been a really good thing for us. Well, Coach, I think this is a good tournament for your team to be in. You get a chance to, you know, test yourself against some really good teams. And there are a couple that maybe you get to work on some stuff when maybe it's not quite the challenge, you know. And I certainly hope it's not uh, like it was this morning because West Columbia, they're having a rough time and, and they didn't really present much of a challenge for you. But looking forward to seeing what your team does against Texas City. Absolutely. Me as well. It's going to be a good game for us. And, and you're right. There's a lot of teams here. and. Uh, a variety of styles of play and, and different things you got to defend and play against. And it'll be good for us to get back into to the swing before district play picks up again. That's Darren Johnson, head coach of Ridgepoint. Thank you for being with us. And may I be the first to say, Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Happy New Year to you as well. All right, we'll be back and tip it off from the gym at Brazoswood, the nice gym, the nicer one. We'll be back. The First Tire and Automotive family wishes you happy holidays with these Merry Christmas of savings. 10% off any and all repairs or $15 off an oil change. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive has supported school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. All right, we're ready to jump it up. Here are the starters for your Ridgepoint Panthers. Wilson Batiste, Tate Yannick, Jameer Norman Turner, TJ Ford Jr., and Connolly Christmas. And for Texas City, Clovis McLean, Malik Smith, Andrew Jonigan, Jordan Washington, and Anj Anson Johnson. Ridgepoint is the home team wearing the white uniforms, and they will go left to right as I describe the action for you here in the quarters number one and two. Conley Christmas taps it back to Yannick, and we are underway. T.J. Ford walks it across the timeline. Picked up there by Jordan Washington. 
Between the feet dribble. Chris Mason, head coach of Texas City, up off the bench immediately with instructions. T.J. Ford on the right wing, drives into the paint, jump stop, kicks it back out. Conley Christmas, three on the way, in and out, no good. Rebound to the Stingerees. Andrew Jonigan came down with it. T.J. Ford is picking up Jordan Washington at the timeline. Inside pass, kind of a no-looker, and it's off the hands of Anson Johnson. And a turnover for Texas City the first time they possess the basketball. So Ridgepoint comes into this one with an 11-6 record, and Texas City is 10-7. Now there's a steal in the backcourt. It is Clovis McLean going to the hoop after stealing a pass that T.J. Ford intended for someone on his team, you know. Connolly Christmas brings the ball across the timeline. Now quickly back to Ford, all the way around the horn they go. Tate Yonick comes up completely short with a three. Missed everything. Christmas tried to save it as it bounced over the baseline, but he stepped on the line, so it'll be Texas City basketball leading two to nothing. The Brazoswood Buccaneers are the host team in games in this gym, and they played previously in Kingwood Park, beat them with a buzzer beater. Now Texas City, Jordan Washington, nowhere to go, turns around and gives it to a teammate in the corner, now gets it back all the way around the corner to go. Malik Smith stops at the free throw line, kicks it to the right corner, baseline jumper, in and out, no good. Tate Yannick with the rebound, here comes T.J. Ford Jr. Driving into the paint, kicks it out, Conley Christmas passes up the three, goes to the hoop, finger roll is good. Lots of contact, but no call. Two to two. We'll tell you about games that we'll have coming up for the rest of the week, but we've got a timeout, Texas City, and we'll take it with them. This is VipeFortBend.com, two to two in the early going, Ridgepoint and Texas City. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavenaugh with Needville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local, hometown, trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and 9 auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. Ridgepoint in possession in the 2-2 game. And to the hoop goes Conley Christmas. Lays it up nicely. He scored all of the Ridgepoint points thus far. And they lead it by a score of 4-2. Now full court pressure by the Panthers. But they back off of it very quickly and... Here comes Jordan Washington across the timeline, facing up against T.J. Ford, looking for a pick from McLean. And now there's a three-pointer on the way from the big man, Clovis McCain. And Ridgepoint got the rebound, but stepped on the line. Jameer Norman Turner. In this morning's game against West Columbia, Wilson Batiste had 12 points. Jameer Norman Turner had 12 also. And Connolly Christmas with 11. Those were the three in double figures. And an inbounds pass to McCain, top of the key. Ball poked away momentarily, but he gets it back. Little turnaround. He was blocked by the bottom of the backboard. And it is Wilson Batiste who comes away with the rebound and pushes it down the floor. Now he gets it quickly ahead to Jameer Norman Turner. Goes up and the ball is knocked out of his hands. But there was contact and a foul call. Andrew Jonigan is guilty of the foul, but it was on the floor, not during the shot, and so Ridgepoint just inbounds it. Christmas has it left wing. Now Yannick between the rings. Starts right, now moves left, and T.J. Ford Jr. with a three on the way. No good. Nice job of blocking out Clovis McCain. He comes up with the rebound. He had five in this morning's game when they beat Kentner 57-39. McCain with the the between-the-feet dribble. He can handle the ball very well for a big man. And he goes around, gets a nice screen, and he came free and just laid it off the glass and good. We're tied at four. Christmas to Jameer Norman Turner. Hesitation move. Shoots a two-pointer from mid-range. It's no good. Rebound taken by Dennis Dennis Young, who just entered the game during that last break in the action. Now he throws a cross-court pass to McCain. 
McCain turns around and looks at his coach, Chris Mason, has some instructions, pulls up and shoots the left wing three. It's good. Texas City on top, seven to four. T.J. Ford moves it diagonally across the court from the right side to the left side. Then Tate Yannick drives in, bounce pass to Wilson Batiste, and the ball was knocked away by Texas City. And the Panthers will throw it in along the baseline. Preston Figueroa comes into the game. Quickly inbounding to Jameer Norman Turner. He was blocked. McCain came from behind and swatted it out of his hands. So it's still 7-4 Texas City. And now contact in the backcourt. And Jameer Norman Turner inadvertently knocking down Malik Smith. Now the pass comes in to McCain in heavy traffic. I'm surprised the ball got through there. And the Stingerees maintain possession. Christmas is guarding McCain and the dribble... It looked like it went off of McCain's knee, but I guess it was poked away by Conley Christmas. I wonder how many different jokes he hears about his last name, especially on, you know, Saturday, this past Saturday. T.J. Ford is guarding the inbounds pass, and he swatted it down to the floor. Now Malik Smith goes all the way into the backcourt to Figueroa. He hands the ball to Malik Smith. And there's a try for a steal by Yannick. Figueroa got around and pulled up and shot an air ball from only about 12 feet away. Texas City still leading 7-4, but here come the Panthers. T.J. Ford smelling an opportunity, spins through the paint, puts the ball up, and he's fouled on the play. Number 15, Jordan Washington, guilty of the foul. Well, that can't be right because Jordan Washington is on the bench. Okay, 50, 5 0. I got it. Anson Johnson, 50, not 15. 3.23 to go in the first quarter. Ridge Point in the second round of the Brazosport ISD Holiday Classic Tournament. One free throw out of two, good by TJ Ford. And it's seven to five. Christmas guarding McCain in the backcourt. McCain almost gets it pokes, poked away, but recovers. He's near the circle. It says Bucks B-U-C-S for the Brazoswood Buccaneers, the second team of the second school in Brazosport ISD. And there's a hard cross-court pass and a turnover by Texas City. McCain. Throwing the ball to Dennis Young, a little bit too hot to handle, and it landed right in front of the Ridge Point bench. Ridge Point wearing the home whites with gray numbers outlined in purple. Purple around the edges of the shoulders and stripes down the side as well. Texas City black uniforms with orange. Just black and orange, nothing else. No look past Jameer Norman Turner. Got the ball to Wilson Batiste, who went up strong, but his shot was blocked out of bounds. Ridge Point with a chance to tie or get ahead with 2.48 to go in the first. Ford all the way over everybody to the top of the key to Yannick, uh, Tate Yannick. There's an inbounds pass, or I'm sorry, an entry pass intended for TJ Ford, but it was thrown away. Ridge Point gets back well on defense, and they manage to force a miss, and here they come, uh, here they come with Norman Turner. And now just into the game for the first time is James Farr, who looked pretty good in that game against West Columbia. But to be honest, everybody who was playing for Ridge Point looked good. And uh, James Farr was whacked on the arm, but he wasn't shooting. So he inbounds the ball from the near sideline. And Ridge Point will again try to tie or take the lead. Ford to Farr. Quick pass inside to Jameer Norman Turner. Turn around at the left elbow is no good. Rebound comes down to Texas City and who else but Clovis McCain. And then one of those plays where Texas City falling out of bounds with the basketball trying to bounce it off one of the Panthers. But now the Panthers turn it over before they get to midcourt. 
and Glenn Parker swipes it and goes straight to the hoop to increase the lead to nine to five, Texas City on top. Far to Tate Yannick, back to Far, back to Norman Turner. He moves over to the right wing, sends it to Ford in the corner, fakes the three, drives into the lane, puts it up. Dipsy do move with a little Euro step to make it nine to seven. One thirty-four to go in the first. We'll take a break and be back. This is ViveFortBend.com. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. Donovan Carraway came in for Texas City and inbounded the ball. And now Ridgepoint with a steal. Tate Yannick stopped it with his foot. And a layup rolls it in. Nice spin off the glass to tie it up at 9-all. Ridgepoint ratcheting up the pressure. Yannick almost with another steal in the backcourt. But now Texas City momentarily has numbers. And then the trailer, Tate Yannick, steals it away. Gets it to Ford. All the way to the hoop. Off the glass, no good. Rebound far, trying to go back up. Kicks it back out to Norman Turner, then finds Wilson Batiste under the basket to score and make it 11-9. The Panthers have the lead in the final minute of the first quarter. This may be one of those games just full of spurts and offensive runs. Right corner jumper on the way, Andrew Jonigan missed it off the back iron and the rebound bouncing around, several players from either team touching it, but it finally goes out, last touch by the Stingerees. Ridgepoint with a two point lead. Far and Ford in the backcourt. There's a pass quickly ahead to Norman Turner. Another gamble for a steal, this time by a Texas City defender, but Amir, Jameer Norman Turner couldn't find anything open, so he backs it out, looking for his teammates. Spin move, turn around, two-pointer on the way. Good from 16 feet. And it's 13 to nine, 10 seconds to go in the quarter. McCain trying to get it across the timeline. Batiste is on him, now he meets a double team. Can't get close to the hoop, Far is right there. Throws one up in desperation, it's no good. And his teammate, that being Anson Johnson, got the rebound but couldn't do anything with it. And we've played eight minutes, and the Ridgepoint Panthers have come back with a little run of eight points to finish the quarter, and they lead it 13 to nine on VitefortBend.com. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Plus, you'll save hundreds over AT&T. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay, and it's 12 Restrictions apply. New connect internet, 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Compares monthly service charge for Xfinity, 600 megabits per second to at t 500 megabits per second, each with one unlimited mobile line for a year as of 10 Reduce speeds up to 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. Texas City inbounds it to start the second quarter. From the big gym here on the Brazoswood High School campus, 13 to nine, the Panthers lead it. TJ Ford guarding Jordan, guarding Jordan Washington, sends the ball into the corner. Malik Smith is kind of trapped there. Turns around and I guess one of the Ridgepoint players 
touched him while they were out of bounds, which means that's last touched by Ridgepoint, technically. Quick inbounds pass. Moving the ball around like a pinball, trying to get it to McCain. McCain, little jump stop move and uh, an Akeem Olajuwon style up and under move to get the points. Now Texas City is within 13 to 11. Jameer Norman Turner launches one from three point land, top of the key, and he hits it to make it 16 to 11, the biggest lead that Ridgepoint has enjoyed, five points. Ford guarding Washington. Now quickly into McCain. Turn around, off the glass, no good. Wilson Batiste grabs the rebound. Gets it ahead to Norman Turner who flashes down the left sideline. Stops, gets it to Farr. Back to Batiste, passed up the three, went to the hoop, laid it in from the right side. 18 to 11. Timeout Texas City. We'll be back on VipeFortBend.com. The First Tire and Automotive family wishes you happy holidays with these Merry Christmas of savings. 10% off any and all repairs or $15 off an oil change. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive has supported school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. Firsttireandauto.com. One thing the Ridgepoint Panthers have going for them during the 2021-2022 season is they have three players who stand 6'5", six, six players who are 6'3", or 6'4", and they have a lot of experience, mostly juniors or seniors on the team. Chauncey Shaw is the only sophomore on the varsity roster for Ridgepoint. And it's a good test to see how they do against other teams with height because you've got, got McCain and Anson Johnson. Their heights aren't listed, but I'm estimating both of them are at least 6'6". So Texas City gets the ball coming out of the timeout and they work it inside. McCain gets the entry pass and turns around quickly and goes up on the shorter Wilson Batiste and scores and draws a foul. That's a good uh, While he waits to get the basketball to shoot the free throw, McCain adjusting his shirt tail, making sure it's in. His free throw is nothing but net, so it's a three-point play for Clovis McCain. 18-14 though, Ridgepoint still leads it. There goes Ford down the right restraining line, kicks it back to far three on the way. And the ball is tapped out of bounds by Wilson Batiste. He meant to. He knew he couldn't get two hands on the rebound. So he was trying to slap it to Jameer Norman Turner. Did not work out for him. Texas City down by four. 6.15 to go in quarter number two. This is the second game of the Brazosport ISD Holiday Basketball Classic Tournament. They've got boys and girls brackets. And an entry pass, no look, stolen away by Norman Turner. Gets the ball over to Conley Christmas, kicks it back to Tate Yannick. Three is no good, Texas City the rebound. Texas City is really getting on the glass, but a turnover there. Jameer Turner, uh, Norman Turner stole it away. And there was a shot opportunity by Wilson Batiste. Missed from in close and Texas City got the rebound. And beautiful dribbling between a double team at midcourt. And now it is McCain. Left corner three is good. Makes it 18-17. The Stingerees within one of Ridgepoint. Wilson Batiste brings it across the line. Back in is Jameer Norman Turner. Quick turnaround, no good. The rebound eludes Conley Christmas, and it's taken by McCain. And there's a blocking foul by Batiste in the open court. As McCain sensed that he was... Kind of backpedaling a little bit too fast and went ahead and initiated the contact. McCain with 17 points against Kempner this morning in the earlier game. These two teams played each other already and Ridgepoint won that one. Ridgepoint has played one District 26A game and they won in overtime 
58-53 over Clements. Now they step away from district play to do a little tournament action. And then starting next week, it's nothing but district games and postseason games the rest of the way. Entry pass, Jordan Washington. There was a travel, and one of the Texas City players, Malik Smith, got away with it, so they still have possession. McCain outside, gets it inside to Anson Johnson. Beautiful spin move, baby hook from the right, and that's good to make it 19-18. Texas City has regained the lead. So that means Texas City has an 8-0 run of their own after Ridgepoint closed the first quarter with an 8-point run. And a miss shot by the Panthers. Rebound Texas City. There goes McCain. Pulls up at the left elbow and hits the two-pointer. Ten straight points by the Stingerees. And this is one of those games that evidently is going to be one of streaks and offensive runs. T.J. Ford straight up the middle of the court. Quickly inbounds. Tries to get it to Stephen Connell. Couldn't keep his hands on it and get a shot. He did save it. And then a fight over the ball. And Tate Yannick reached in and grabbed one of the Stingerees by the wrist. Chauncey Shaw, the sophomore, comes off the bench for Ridgepoint. And taking a seat is TJ Ford, Jr. As Jordan Washington walks it across the timeline, we have four minutes to go in the first half. Ridgepoint trailing 21 to 18. Ridgepoint has moved to a 2-3 zone defense, and now Figueroa launches a three from the left corner. That's good. Texas City is on fire. I wonder if we're going to see Darren Johnson, the head coach of the Panthers, call a timeout anytime soon. Shaw moves right, now left, gets the ball to Christmas between the rings. Moving in on McCain. Launches one from three-point land. It's in and out, no good, and the rebound, Stephen Connell. Connell quickly into Christmas. He was bumped by McCain. The ball went off his hands and out of bounds. Not a foul, but Ridgepoint will keep it. 13 straight points by Texas City. Shaw to inbound. Looking, looking, goes over everybody to Gabriel Bro that came into the game when Shaw did. He's going down the right side of the lane. Gives it back to Christmas who drives inside. He's in the paint and backhands it. It's a very hard shot to describe. He was kind of under the rim and blindly shot it. And I said, I think I might have said left hand, but it was with his right. But he got it to go and drew the foul. So that makes it 24 to 20, and Connolly Christmas will go to the line. Christmas with 11 points in the game earlier today. Shoots from his tiptoes, and it's in to make it 24 to 21. 315 to go. Chris Mason up with instructions for his team. He's the head coach of the Stingerees. He was a former Stingeree himself. Well, I guess he'd say, you're never a former Stingeree, you're just a former student. And he proves that you can go home again. Washington not guarded, so let's fly from three-point land on the left wing. It's no good. Rebound by McCain, but he is blocked by Gabriel Bro. Here comes Ridgepoint. Conley Christmas across the midcourt stripe. Between the feet dribble. Gets the ball to Shaw. Fakes a pass. Now goes inside to Connell. He's blocked inside. Not a hard block, but just enough to drive the shot off course. And it's 24-21 to 21, Texas City. They have it with less than two and a half minutes to go before halftime. Jameer Norman Turner goes to the scorer's table. He's going to come in, so too will Marvin Johnson. Inside to McCain. His shot is too hard. Tate Yannick ahead to Conley Christmas. I think he went over and back and got away with it. One of his feet was over the line, and then he went entirely into the backcourt. Takes a fadeaway jumper from the free throw line. It's no good. Gabriel Bro trying to hang on to the rebound, but there was a stingeree in front of him and one behind. They kind of wrestled the ball out of his hands. 2.03 to go, and the ball was last touched by Texas City, and so Ridgepoint will inbound it. Shaw trying to alley-oop it, but he can't get that done. So into Christmas on the right wing. Now Jameer Norman Turner drives the left elbow, loses the ball, goes back and gets it. Now Tate Yannick has it. Yannick moves through the free throw circle, trips as he goes, and the ball comes out of his hands. Texas City gathers it in, and here they come. Four on one. 
off the glass, no good, and a foul called. The guy who shot it was Dennis Young. He rebounded his miss, and then he was fouled by Shaw. 1.43 to go. Don't forget, we'll have games all week long on VibeFortBend.com. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we'll have two Elkins Knights boys tournament games, the Vipe Invitational at the Campbell Center in Aldine. On Thursday at 10.30, a girls game, Austin hosting Aleaf Hastings. And then two more games on New Year's Eve day as the first free throw is up and good by Dennis Young. On Friday, we'll have a 10.30 a.m. game. The Katy girls are at Bush. That could be a playoff preview, should be a great game. And then at 1 o'clock, same day, the Travis boys hosting Seven Lakes. That, too, could be a playoff matchup. Dennis Young, second free throw attempt coming. It's in the air. It is short. Ball volleyballed up in the air, and Shaw comes away with it, and two Texas City players fall down. There goes Shaw right through the paint, and he's blocked at the end of the play. It goes out of bounds. Glenn Parker got a piece of it. T.J. Ford is coming back into the game. Clovis McCain is coming back in for Texas City. Don't forget, VibeFortBend.com is your broadcast home for Fort Bend County Sports. Always listen live or listen later on the podcast. Absolutely free. And an entry pass by T.J. Ford. Gets it back to Jameer Norman. And then ending up with it is Tate Yannick. He drives the baseline, and his shot is swatted out of bounds by McCain. James Farr comes back in for Ridge Point. Marvin Johnson comes out. Quick turnaround. Jameer Norman Turner misses the shot inside. Fight for the ball inside the paint. T.J. Ford looks like he's hurt a little bit. And quickly down the floor goes Texas City. And Ridge Point with good job getting back. Conley Christmas comes away with a miss, a rebound of a miss shot. And the ball gets loose, but Texas City saves it. Quickly back down the floor. Far is the last one back and plays great defense. Knocks the ball out of the hands of the man who beat everybody down the floor for Texas City, Andrew Jonigan. James Farr really hustling and playing solid fundamental basketball. Coaches love guys who will get back on D when it seems like nobody else has been able to. Jordan Washington to inbound along the baseline. Texas City trying to score at the goal to our left for the final minute and two seconds of this second round tournament game. Both teams in the winner's bracket. It's not a double elimination tournament. Once you lose, you know you're not going to go home with the ultimate championship trophy. And the winner of this game will play tomorrow at 12 noon against Kingwood Park, which beat the host team Brazoswood with a, a buzzer beater in a fourth quarter where Kingwood Park outscored Brazos Wood by a score of 5-3. to three. It's one of the lower scoring quarters I've ever seen. Tate Yannick very quickly going after a pass that was intended for Jordan, Jordan Washington. Almost came away with a clean steal, but it bounced off his hands out of bounds. We're under a minute to go. Jordan Washington tries to inbound it. Christmas gambled, went for the steal, and there's an offensive foul on McCain. And guess who drew it? James Farr. He's one of those players, he doesn't look scary if you size him up from the other side, but man, has he been effective in the two games that I've seen today. Ridge Point trailing 25-21, will try to get a point, or a bucket I should say, before the halftime ends. Jameer, Jordan Turner, sorry about that. Jameer Norman Turner, it's just uh, when you have those Hyphenated last names, it's easy to mess them up. Sorry about that. Christmas to throw it in. Over everybody, gets it to Jameer Norman Turner. Moves to the right elbow, pulls up, shoots a two, rattles around and goes down. 25 to 23, 30 seconds to go. Rich Point applying the pressure in the backcourt. Tate Yannick trying to go for a steal, he's been doing a lot of that. 
And it is going to be Ridge Point ball. It's taken away by Jameer Norman Turner. Alley oop for Christmas. Too tall off his hand out of bounds. I think they went for what Al McGuire would have called too much French pastry. Should have just done something normal. You don't want to increase the degree of difficulty. Now a long pass way down there to McCain. He runs it down. Ball goes out of bounds. Uh, out of bounds and it belongs to Ridge Point. 14.01 seconds to go and so Ridge Point has a chance to tie or take the lead before we go to the locker room. We meaning the teams. I'm not going to the locker room. I'm staying right here with you. All the way to the hoop goes Shaw and he comes up short. And there goes McCain. Look out. Going to the hoop. He's hit. And he draws a foul. Couldn't get it to go through the hoop but he will have free throws with one and a third seconds left. One and 33 one hundredths. That's as close as you can get to one and a third on the standard scoreboard. McCain bounces it, spins it, and hits the first one. Got a good clean stroke from the free throw line. 26-23. Next one, also good, although it does rattle around on the rim. Jameer Jordan, uh, Norman, oh my. I'll get it right before we come back for the third quarter. Jameer Norman Turner tried to shoot one about three-fourths of the length of the court, but that shot was blocked, and the chances that it was going to go in, eh, not very good anyway. 27 to 23, we'll take a break and be back, talk to you about what we have left for the break that comes between Christmas and New Year's. Roger Smith with you on VibeFortBend.com. Our coverage is brought to you by Xfinity, the future of awesome, by First Tyron Automotive with four great Fort Bend County locations. We got them in First Colony, Great Wood, on Eldridge Road in Sugar Land, and also Katy Cinco Ranch. They're open Monday through Saturday, and you can go to FirstTyronAuto.com to get the best deal on tires that you'll find anywhere and also on service. Any service that your car needs to stay running at its very best, they've got it and they've got discounts. All you have to do is go to the website, firsttireandauto.com, and they'll help you out. That's where I take my cars, my family's cars. I mean, I only drive one. Don't want to be pretentious or anything. And how about Archer Volkswagen? We appreciate their support of our broadcast, and Archer Volkswagen has been there for you since 1956, even if you weren't born until a long time after that. They're just inside the Sam Houston Tollway along the southbound side of the Southwest Freeway, and they are open and ready to serve you Monday through Saturday. That is Archer Volkswagen. You'll feel like family when you're at their place. And we're also brought to you by the Needville Insurance Agency. Get the very best deal you can get on your home and car insurance. Bradley Stavenaugh and his team can help you out with that. Be sure to go to needvilleinsurance.com. You don't even have to leave your house. You can call him. You can use the website. Or, you know, he'll come see you if necessary. That's the Needville Insurance Agency. We'll be right back. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details. Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. 
Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Hello fans, this is Bradley Stavanaugh with Neville Insurance. We know Fort Bend County. I'm a fourth generation resident of Fort Bend. I'm your local hometown trusted agent. With over 30 carriers and nine auto insurance carriers, we shop the insurance for you. We know insurance is hard. We know it's complicated. We make it easy for you. We have Spanish speakers here available for you. Call us at 979-793-7411 or needvilleinsurance.com. Once again, call us 979-793-7411. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 12621. Restrictions apply. New connect internet 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Reduce speeds after 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. Back in here at the gym at Brazoswood High School at halftime. It is Texas City. Uh, Texas, <laughs> Texas City. Sorry about that. Uh, leading your Ridgepoint Panthers 27 to 23. We'll be back with more after this from the University Interscholastic League. All of us love sports, but not all sports are created equal. College sports have big budgets, dedicated alumni networks, and corporate sponsorships. Professional sports have even deeper pockets. Millionaire owners, lucrative TV and radio deals, and merchandise sales. High school sports have you. Everyone agrees high school sports give us plenty of reasons to cheer. And now's a great time for us to give back. Supporting your hometown high school won't cost you much, but it will go a long way to ensuring the games we love the most are here to stay. Texas High School Sports. They're good for our kids, good for our community, and best of all, they're good for you. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Less than four minutes before we resume our game, Rich Point trailing Texas City in the second round game in the boys' winner's bracket of the Brazosport ISD Holiday Invitational Classic. I'm sure I'm getting the name not exactly right. I'm doing the best I can. You can see it's the uh, holiday classic. But it is invitational, I suppose. Anyway, um, so what I was going to say is that Rich Point, after the win this morning over West Columbia, is 11-6 on the season. 1-0 in District 26A in their first year under new head coach Darren Johnson, who took over for Terrence Plowden. And they defeated Clements in overtime. That was December 17th. So quite a few days ago, but that was their first district game. And they play a few non-district games in tournament action before they get back into the district schedule. Next Wednesday, they will take on the Austin Bulldogs in peaceful bucolic Pheasant Creek, as opposed to the hard scrabble streets of Siena. So Ridge Point, Bush, Elkins, and Travis are all 1-0 in District 26A play, and that's kind of what you would expect, although Ridge Point really had to work for that overtime win over Clements. It was 58-53 when it all shook out. So here's what we got on the schedule for the rest of the week. Tomorrow, two Elkins Knights boys games as they're playing in the Vipe Invitational. That's being played at the Aldean Campbell Center, which is usually a good place for regional basketball tournaments. I remember seeing Hightower earn their way into the state final four back in 
2020 before everything was shut down by the China virus. Dang it. I, in the sports fans' heaven, I believe that you will have your own media room and you can ask, answer all of the sports what-ifs that you want. And we can see what would have happened if Hightower had taken on Lancaster in the state semifinals on the night of March, whatever it was, when I was planning to drive you know, and break all kinds of major laws getting to San Antonio and watch Bryce Griggs and the, the Hightower Hurricanes hopefully go after a state championship. It was not meant to be, and of course, that year I have similar what-if questions about what the Ridge Point baseball team would have done had they been able to play out their season in the spring of 2020. I know they got beat really bad when they made it to the finals in 2019, but I think there was something special about that team. They had a lot of great assets in that dugout, and I just wonder what Ridge Point would have done had they been able to play for the state baseball championship. Anyway, I, I think I went down a rabbit hole because I was telling you about what we're going to broadcast for the rest of the week, the week between Christmas and New Year's. So again, those Elkins Knights games at the Campbell Center, and that, that's where I got uh, started talking about the Campbell Center. Anyway, Thursday, Thursday morning at 10.30, it's the Austin girls hosting Aleve Hastings. Then on Friday, a doubleheader in two different places, 10.30 a.m., we'll have the Katie girls taking on Bush, a possible playoff preview in that one, and then we'll jet on over to Travis, which is not too far away, and the Seven Lakes boys will take on the Travis Tigers. That, too, could be a playoff matchup. All right, in just a moment, you will hear the buzzer. The teams will go back out onto the floor and settle the issue. 27 to 23, Texas City, known for good defense, and they played pretty good defense in the first half. And we'll see what Chris Mason, their head coach, dials up. And over on the other side, the less experienced but very, very capable Darren Johnson. There's that buzzer, I told you. So Ridge Point will be going from right to left as we begin the half, but it'll be it will be Ridge Point who gets the ball first. Christmas, Ford, Norman Turner, Batiste, and Yannick on the floor for the Panthers. Batiste to inbound to Ford, and here we go, starting the third quarter. Passive defense for the moment by Texas City. Ford, entry pass, and a quick one-two. That would have been two assists if it was hockey. He got it to Norman Turner, who quickly got it to Christmas, and that makes it 27 to 25. Conley Christmas double figures in this morning's game, and he's got double figures again in the, the afternoon cap. It's not quite the night cap. Jordan Washington pulls up behind the three-point arc from the left wing and hits for Texas City. 28 to 25. Batiste kills his dribble in the backcourt. Yannick quickly to Christmas underneath the basket. And he is fouled on the floor. Jordan Washington with palms to the heavens cannot believe that he was called for the foul. But it won't result in shots. It was on the floor. 30-25 ridge points down, but they have the ball. Christmas to throw it in along the baseline. Gets it to... Jameer Norman Turner and Christmas gets it inside. His shot is blocked. Ford gets his hands on it, and it's swatted away by a Texas City player. Ridge Point still has possession, and this time T.J. Ford Jr. will throw it in. Looks right. Now looking over the top, and now gets it to Norman Turner, who backs away, and they set up the offense. Cross-court pass. Batiste now Ford in the right corner. Thought about the three, drove to the hoop, kicked it back out. Now it's Jameer Norman Turner directing traffic, and now Ford with a right wing three-pointer, and it's good. 32-28. And it is Tate Yannick playing tenacious defense in the backcourt against Jordan Washington, and Washington does get it across the line. He's still in the center court circle, now moves a little to his right. Gets the ball over there to Jonigan. All the way across the court, Texas City goes, and now Anson Johnson trying to back in. Baby hook, no good. Rebounds his own miss, puts it up. That is also no good. And the rebound, Christmas. It's three on two. There goes Conley, almost loses it. 
but goes in from the back window, can't get it, gets his own miss, tries again and it rolls off. Tough luck there. Still 30 to 28. And now here comes Johnigan quickly down the floor. His layup is good. Ridge Point with a slight defensive lapse there. It's 32 to 28. Now they're quickly ahead, Wilson Batiste. Now it's Ford, top of the key, three, back iron, no good. Fight for the rebound, taken by Jameer Norman Turner. Quick entry pass knocked away by Texas City. Clovis McCain with quick hands and he was fronting Conley Christmas. We've only played just a little over two minutes of this third quarter, but it's been action packed and feels like we've been playing longer than that. Wilson Batiste in the corner. Now to Christmas on the right wing. Now they move around the perimeter. Yannick now dribbles to his right. Kills his dribble. Gets it back to Jameer. Norman Turner looks inside. Ask for a pick. And it's the give and go to Batiste. But his shot is short. Oh no, he just kind of babied that one. It should have gone in. And soon he'll be able to dunk it. All right, Jordan Washington now for Texas City with his team ahead by four. And there with an too easy of a trip down the right side of the lane, Clovis McCain rolls it off the glass. I think a couple of Panthers kind of picked each other off. T.J. Ford waited in the backcourt to get his shoe tied. Now he's in position. Beautiful pass inside. Wilson Batiste scores as Jameer Norman Turner hits him with a bullet pass. And it's 34 to 30. Texas City still on top. Less than five minutes to go in the third. Johnigan cut off by Batiste as he moved toward the baseline. Now way back out to the top. McCain driving in on Conley Christmas. And it looked like uh, could have been a McCain foul with a little elbow to the kidney, if you know what I mean. But instead, it's the foul on Christmas. First foul of this second half on the Ridgepoint Panthers. Jordan Washington sends it to the right corner as he gets it to McCain. Back to Washington. They'll set up the half-court offense. Tate Yannick right there trying to get the ball away. Now it's a double team. Ball back in Washington's hands. And now that is poked away by Jameer Norman Turner. And there he goes back to and it rolled out. He blew the layup. Still 34-30. Ridgepoint trying to get a steal at the other end, but they leave Jonigan open for an easy layup and give the assist to McCain. He drew the defense and found his man. Nothing like a really good passing big man like Akeem Olajuwon was. There through the lane goes TJ Ford. He's knocked down as he scores. It's good to make it 36-32. Ridgepoint still down by four. No full court press right now. Not... Not yet, anyway. Darren Johnson, head coach of Ridge Point, is up off the bench. Jonigan holds the ball over his head on the right wing, and he has his pocket picked by Wilson Batiste. He's going into the glass, off the glass, and good. Two point game, 36 34. That, by the way, was the final score of the game right before this one, as Kingwood Park beat Brazoswood. So the winner of this one will face Kingwood Park tomorrow at noon. Shot up and no good, and two players get their hands on the ball. It's a held ball situation, and the possession arrow favors Texas City. 3-11 to go in the third quarter, and Texas City clinging to a 36-34 lead. Dennis Young on the floor for the Stingarees. Jordan Washington, or rather Jonigan, to inbound it, and it's swatted out of bounds by Wilson Batiste. They'll do it all over again. Faked a pass in one direction, and what a beautiful block by far. What defense he's playing as he blocked Donovan Carraway, and now a steal by Ridgepoint. Ford with the behind the back pass and it's stolen away by Glenn Parker. When they've tried to do alley-oops and funky things, it just doesn't work out. Now Tate Yannick with a the steal. There is Jameer Norman Turner. He is blocked. A little bit of pushing and shoving between Jameer Norman Turner 
and uh, Dennis Young. And the officials intervene and say, enough of that snarling and snapping stuff. I mean, come on. It was three days ago that we had Christmas. Goodwill toward men. Ford to inbound, gets it in to Wilson Batiste. Now to Ford, right corner three, good! And Ridge Point is on top, 37-36. Two and a half minutes to go in quarter number three. Anson Johnson comes to the scorer's table. He's one of the big men and he will come in at the next available opportunity. Jordan Washington hounded by T.J. Ford. Now Jameer Norman Turner almost stole it away. Now they send it over to the left corner. There's Dennis Young, can't get out of there. Gets it to Jordan Washington. And a quick spin move inside. Donovan Carraway trying to score and he did draw the foul. And the foul kind of bailed him out. And he's down on one knee and he's looking like he took a shot to the nose. It will be two shots. And you heard that adamant, that's what you call an adamant buzzer. Jonigan and Johnson are waiting to come in for Texas City, but we got to have a little conversation here. Dennis Young looks like he's okay. Actually, it was uh, Caraway rather, who took the shot to the nose, and he's standing at the free throw line. And I'm not sure who they called it on. They have a scoreboard that can tell you who the foul is on, but they're not using that function of the board right now. Ridge Point was down four at halftime, and now with 2.10 to go in the third, they lead by one. In the second quarter, Texas City outscored Ridge Point 18 to 10. This foul number two, Ridge one. All right, Caraway ready to shoot. It's off the back iron, no good. By the way, there is uh, they did a nice program for this tournament, full color, very nice, but uh, evidently Texas City either gave them an old roster or didn't replace the one from last year. So they have a whole bunch of stuff that's incorrect. The second free throw was no good and Glenn Parker fights for the rebound for Texas City and he comes away with it and draws a foul. James Farr commits the foul. Glenn Parker will shoot. Takes a long time looking at the rim, and it's off the back iron, no good. Ridge Point still leads it, 37 to 36. So Parker's teammate, Caraway, missed the front end of a one and one. He hits one out of two, and we're tied at 37. Two minutes to go in the third period. T.J. Ford sends it to Jameer Norman Turner. Holds the ball over his head, makes a move left. Blind pass to Tate Yannick. Left corner three, good. 40 to 37, Ridge Point leads. Yannick, so tenacious with that defense, but he falls down. Jordan Washington gets free, and now I think Tate Yannick got a piece of a shot that Malik Smith put up from the left corner and it bounced off the top of the backboard. Man, that guy is just the energizer bunny, Tate Yannick. And by the way, one of the greatest softball players that Ridge Point has ever had, Grace Yannick, who plays third base for them and is a three-year varsity starter and will be back as a senior for a fourth year as a varsity starter. Well, she is not related to Tate Yannick. They're both great athletes. They pronounce their name the same way and spell it the same way, but there is no connection. And now another near steal by Yannick. He almost saved it, but when it went off his hands, it landed on blue paint on the sideline, and Jameer Norman Turner goes over there to give him a high five. What an effort by Tate Yannick. 
He looks tired, but he's not slowing down. 118 to go in the third. Ridge Point leads 40 to 37. And quickly into Jonigan, and now Jordan Washington across the midcourt stripe, indicating to his head coach, Chris Mason, he doesn't know what play he that the coach wants. And uh, Jordan Washington almost slips, does get the ball out of his hand. McCain driving left elbow, gives the ball up. Now cross-court pass to Johnson, Anson Johnson. Big man trying to make moves with the ball. And we got a foul call, I think. Okay, I guess uh, Tate Yannick committed the foul on the floor, so just throwing it in along the baseline. 54 seconds to go in the third quarter, and Connolly Christmas gets a foot on the inbounds pass, and it came off of there, off of his foot, like a punt in a football game, and it bounced off the cinder block wall at the right end. Ball inbounded, Jonigan. Easy two because a couple of defenders fell away after trying to intercept the inbounds pass. It's now a one-point game. Ridge Point leads it 40 to 39. Jameer Norman Turner with the between, between the feet dribble. Moving to his right, stops near the right elbow, puts up the two-pointer, in and out, no good. Ball loose, Tate Yannick has it. Conley Christmas, three on the way, short. I believe that it was McCain who got a piece of it, and here comes Jonigan into the forecourt. Stolen away by Ford. It's going to be a three on two. Ford gets it over to Batiste. Back door off the window, no good. Follow, no good. Rebound, Jameer Norman Turner. He puts it up, and he's fouled. This is kind of like it's the end of the fourth quarter, not the end of the third. We've got 10 and 3,900 seconds to go. And to the line goes Jameer Norman Turner, who's averaging more than 11 points a game this year. First free throw rattles around and rolls off. One more coming. Jonigan comes off the floor for Texas City. And Dennis Young returns. You remember it was he and Wilson Batiste who were having a disagreement of some kind a few minutes ago. Second free throw is good. Two point Ridge Point lead, 41 to 39. Just over 10 seconds to go in the third. Pressure in the backcourt. Gabriel Bro in the game, almost made a steal. Here goes Jordan Washington, gets it across the timeline. Five seconds to go, gives the ball up. McCain, driving right corner, fade away, two pointer, no good. Ridge Point will take a two point lead to the fourth quarter. This is VibeFortBend.com. Glad you're with us. Happy New Year. We've got eight more minutes of basketball at least. Roger Smith with you on VibeFortBend.com. New kids on the block. Come on, you got to be kidding me. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Okay, so as we move into the fourth quarter, we're being serenaded by new kids on the block, but I guess it could be worse. Roger Smith along the, along with my silent partner, the producer Merle Bertrand. And I'm sure Merle has things to do after this game is over but he's making sure it comes your way clean and clear. 41 to 39, Ridge Point leads and gets the ball to start the fourth quarter. Bro, far side inbounds to TJ Ford Jr. TJ's dad played at Willow Ridge and won a state championship. And of course he did amazing things with the Texas Longhorns and he played in the NBA. 
Gabriel Bro in the right corner. Two-pointer, short of the arc. Batiste almost follows it in, but off his fingertips, cannot get it to go. Now here comes Jordan Washington with no one to slow him down. Gets across the midcourt stripe, a near steal of McCain. Finger roll off the back iron, no good, ball loose. T.J. Ford has it, three on two. Ford slows down and waits for help. Gets into the paint, Conley Christmas, right baseline, passed up the two. Top of the key, Batiste, through the free throw circle. Spinning move and in. Little baby hook from the right side. And it's 43 to 39. Jordan Washington running point for Texas City. Jonigan trying to get around Batiste and the ball gets loose. It's rolling back toward the midcourt stripe and it could have been over and back. It was by Jordan Washington, but he got away with it. Now Texas City retains possession. It's 43 to 39 near the sideline and Jonigan lost it. TJ Ford and Jameer Norman Turner teaming up to provide great double team defense. And they squeeze the ball out of him basically. It's 43 to 39 still. Six and a half minutes to go. Ford, way back behind his head, throws a pass to Wilson Batiste, who rolls it, almost gets it off the glass to go. He draws the foul from Anson Johnson. This doesn't exactly feel like a playoff game, but then again, in some ways, it does even though these two teams will not meet on the playoff road. Texas City is a 5A team. Ridge Point plays in 6A. Ridge Point had a great playoff run last year until they ran into Atascacita. It wasn't pretty. 45 to 39, Ridge Point has a six point lead after both free throws are good by Wilson Batiste. It was a terrible night at Del Mar Fieldhouse in the regional semifinals as Ridge Point lost to Atascacita and then Elkins lost to Summer Creek. Here's a three on the way by Dennis Young and it's no good, rebound by Jameer Norman Turner of Ridge Point. He brings it up the floor. Left side of the free throw circle, quickly inside to Gabriel Bro, who blew the layup. Almost got the rebound of his miss. And he is guarding McCain. Now he's part of a double team against McCain, but Texas City beats that trap and they score to make it 45 to 41. Dennis Young got out ahead of everyone. And McCain found him, 45-41. Now the ball is kicked into the backcourt. And you know something? Um, I, I try not to inject my opinions too often, but why is it that there's a rule in basketball that if the ball comes in contact with your foot, even if you didn't mean for it to come in contact with your foot, that it's a violation? Why should it be a violation? You know, you should do use all of your body parts to try and, uh, you know, block a pass. All right. Off my soapbox. Tate Yannick launched a three from the left wing. It was a little long and no good, and Wilson Batiste got his hands on the rebound, but one of the Texas City players knocked it out of his hands, and so it's still Ridge Point ball leading by four. Quickly in, Jameer Norman Turner got hammered. No call, TJ Ford fighting for the rebound, but he gets mugged, and now Texas City has it. And there goes McCain, quickly down the floor, stolen away by Batiste. You got a three on three, TJ Ford. Left wing three, thought about it, didn't let it go. Tate Yannick in the left corner, he's thinking about it. But now he's gonna dribble away. Gets the ball to Ford near the midcourt circle. Big battle between Batiste and his good friend, Dennis Young. Jameer Norman Turner on the left wing. And he launches a three, it's no good. One and done as McCain grabs the rebound for Texas City. Still a four-point Ridge Point lead, 4.44 to go. Texas City wants a timeout, and we'll take it with them. This is VipeFortBend.com. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life, like getting an amazing deal on awesome Internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. 
Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 12-621. Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Reduce speeds after 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. The First Tire and Automotive family wishes you happy holidays with these Merry Christmas of savings. 10% off any and all repairs or $15 off an oil change. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive has supported school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. FirstTireandAuto.com Back to action. Ridgepoint leading 45-41. Jonigan air ball from the right baseline. But beyond the three-point arc is McCain. He shoots one that misses. And Tate Yannick grabs the rebound. And he's fouled in the backcourt. But neither team is over the limit. That's just the fifth foul committed by Texas City. Anson Johnson committing that one. And so no free throws yet on non-shooting fouls for Ridgepoint. T.J. Ford across the midcourt stripe. Sends it to Wilson Batiste to the free throw circle. Kicks it back to Norman Turner. Now it's Batiste along the baseline and that one works. The defensive wave came at him but he got it off the window and good. 47-41 Ridgepoint. They led 41-39 after the third quarter. Texas City trying to find an open shot. Jordan Washington from the top of the key. It's no good. Long high rebound comes down to McCain. He fights through the traffic and goes up strong and scores. TJ Ford between the rings gets it to Batiste. Hands it off to Jameer Norman Turner. Trying to make a move near the top of the key. There's Batiste along the baseline. Cannot get free. And it's a, it's a held ball, I guess. I think it's a held ball. Okay, yeah, that's what it is because I see the guy with the possession arrow. He's going to switch it back to Ridgepoint as soon as the ball is inbounded, which he does. Anson Johnson has it in the forecourt between the rings. The big man stops, gives it up to Jonigan. Now Jordan Washington, guarded by Tate Yannick. I'm sure that Jordan Washington is sick of looking at Tate Yannick by now. And Yannick almost steals another one, and he swats a pass away. Jonigan recovers it for Texas City. Now there's Yannick on Washington again, but he gets free in the paint. Now hands it off, and blocked from behind. Wilson Batiste blocked McCain. Now quickly ahead to Jameer Norman Turner. T.J. Ford finishes off the fast break. Ridgepoint is coming on strong, leading now 49 to 43 with 2.42 to go. We hear a lot of chance of D-up during the previous game that we did not broadcast for you because it was Brazos Wood against Kingwood Park, but nobody's chanting D-up during this one, although we're seeing a lot of great defense. There goes Jonigan. Christmas confronts him. Near the hoop, the ball is loose, being a fight for it, and Yonigan is, is, Jonigan is draw, uh, blocked by Christmas. Christmas gets a steal in the open court. Holds the ball, now gives the ball up. Says, here, you take it to uh, Batiste. Now to Ford, into the forecourt. Quickly underneath, backhand layup is good. Jameer Norman Turner, it is 51-43. I think we're going to get a Texas City timeout here real soon. We're under two minutes to go, but there goes McCain. Between two defenders scores, now we get the Texas City timeout. 
and we'll take it with them. 51-45, Ridgepoint leads it as we have a dramatic fourth quarter going here on FightFortMen.com. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. The First Tire and Automotive family wishes you happy holidays with these Merry Christmas of Savings. 10% off any and all repairs or $15 off an oil change. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive has supported school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. FirstTireandAuto.com Rich Point has outscored Texas City 10 to 6 here in the fourth quarter. They were up 41 to 39 at the break there. And they've come up with so many steals and easy baskets. That's really made the difference here in the second half. TJ Ford takes the inbounds pass from Conley Christmas and he is one on one with his defender Donovan Caraway. He goes all the way to the hoop in the midst of three taller players. They knock him down, and Ford draws the foul. He will go to the line. So Donovan Caraway, number 30, is guilty of the foul. That is the sixth one. So now Ridgepoint will be over the limit, and Ford hits the first of two free throws. So any foul by a Texas City defender on the floor... That is to say, not in the act of shooting, will result in a one and one for the Panthers until they get to the double bonus. If they do, second free throw also good by Ford. 53 to 45, the lead is eight points. We'll step aside again. VibeFortBend.com, Panthers trying to finish off a win. You work hard, so you deserve the good things in life like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet. That's why there's never been a better time to switch to Xfinity. Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Plus, you'll save hundreds over AT&T. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay and 12621. Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet, 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Compares monthly service charge for Xfinity, 600 megabits per second to AT&T, 500 megabits per second, each with one unlimited mobile line for a year as of 10621. Reduce speeds up to 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. Visiting earlier today with Chris Mason, the head coach of Texas City, I told him I know that he's got a pretty good ball club because I keep seeing his team's highlights on the Todd Freed Show, H-Town High School Sports on CW39 and AT&T Sportsnet. But Texas City is in danger of losing one here, and Ridgepoint's got to say this would be a good feather in their cap to say they beat these Stingerees twice, but... The job is not yet finished. They lead 53 to 45, and Jordan Washington gets the ball inside to McCain, who tries to go up strong. He's fouled on the floor. That's just the fifth foul of the half by Ridgepoint, so it won't result in free throws. Jordan Washington to inbound. At the right end of the floor, looking, looking, looking. Now throws it over everybody and gets it to Malik Smith. Back to Jordan Washington. Jonigan from the left elbow comes up short. Rebound Ridgepoint. Conley Christmas with two hands firmly on the basketball. We're closing in on one minute to go. 1.07 as the clock ticks. Ford throws it into the forecourt to Wilson Batiste. Jameer Norman Turner has it near the midcourt circle. Now it's Christmas in the corner. Now they're just playing keep away. 
They don't really need points so much as they want to bleed off time. Wilson Batiste to the top of the key, throws a cross-court pass. Knocked out of bounds by McCain. He was trying to get it to Ford right in front of the Ridgepoint bench. And it's just very easy to underestimate when you're playing against these long players. You can throw a pass that you don't think is going to get intercepted. Now Ford is trapped near the sideline. And it's a timeout taken by the Panthers. We'll take it with them. This is VipeFortBend.com. The First Tire and Automotive family wishes you happy holidays with these Merry Christmas of savings. 10% off any and all repairs or $15 off an oil change. Head to the website firsttireandauto.com and claim your savings. First Tire and Automotive has supported school and youth sports programs for years, getting you to and from the game always. Make your appointment today at any of the four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. All four stores open on Saturday. FirstTireandAuto.com. Fort Bend County High School Sports on VibeFortBend.com brought to you by Xfinity, the future of awesome. First Tire and Automotive with four great Fort Bend County locations. The Needville Insurance Agency and Archer Volkswagen. 40 seconds to go, Ridgepoint leading by eight. T.J. Ford with the basketball guarded by McCain. Moves to the left elbow, gives the ball up to Batiste. And Yannick has the ball in his hands and he is fouled intentionally by Jordan Washington. I say intentionally, not because the officials have ruled it as such, but we all know what's going on here. Under 32 seconds to go and Tate Yannick at the foul line. A couple of successful free throws here, could salt it away and he hits the first one. Yannick with a big deep breath. Pops in the second one, nothing but net. And it's 55 to 45, half a minute to go. Quickly into the forecourt, Jordan Washington, three from the corner, no good, rebound, ridge point. Conley Christmas grabs it, hands the ball to Batiste, and we're gonna run out the rest of the clock. 16 seconds to go. Christmas just pivoting, holding on to the ball. Ridge point players on the bench. All standing up and uh, players already giving congratulatory handshakes and low fives and there's the buzzer. Ridgepoint wins it, 55-45. Great effort by Darren Johnson's ball club and they win the first two games in this Brazosport ISD Holiday Basketball Classic for boys and for girls. We'll step aside and be back to wrap this one up for you on VibeFortMen.com. Become a Vibe Insider today. Access breaking news in high school sports. Enjoy premium articles and exclusive coverage written by expert analysts and watch exclusive videos, documentaries on programs in your area. It's only $2.99 a month if you subscribe for the monthly plan. If you go for the yearly plan, it rounds out to just $1.99 a month. It costs you only $24 a year to get all of your Vibe news throughout the entire year subscribe today what are you waiting for it's less than a cup of coffee a month become a vipe insider $2.99 a month $23.99 for the whole year hey it's vipe we will see you at the games you work hard so you deserve the good things in life like getting an amazing deal on awesome internet that's why there's never been a better time to switch to xfinity Get the fast and reliable internet you deserve for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. And ask how to score 12 times the speed for the same internet price when you add Xfinity Mobile. Just imagine, faster downloads, more streaming, the possibilities are endless. Or learn how to get a $200 prepaid card when you get gig speed internet during the Xfinity Black Friday sales event. That means powering a house full of devices when everyone's home this holiday season. So what are you waiting for? Sign up now because you deserve awesome internet. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay, and 12 6 Restrictions apply. New connect internet 50 megabits per second customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra, and subject to change. After term, regular rates apply. Reduce speeds after 20 gigabytes of mobile usage. A very successful day for the Ridgepoint Panthers on this first day of their tournament 
in Brazoria County as they come up with a 55-45 win over the Texas City Stingarees, who I think have a chance to be heard from in a big way in the Class 5A playoffs when that time comes. In the fourth quarter, Ridgepoint outscored the Stingarees 14-4, so they turn a 41-39 lead after three quarters into a 55-45 win. So we're going to be with you tomorrow, although I know Merle Bertrand and you really want to know which Elkins games we're doing, what times they start, and who the opponent is and all that. And I'm going to find that out as quickly as I can. But first thing i got to do is put all my toys away, get in the car, and go home in time for supper. So our final score, 55-45 to 45 by FortBend.com coverage, brought to you by Xfinity, First Tire and Automotive, the Neville Insurance Agency, and Archer Volkswagen. For Merle Bertrand, Suna Venkat, Rosie Bega, everyone on the Vipe team, Roger Smith saying goodbye and God bless, and we'll wish you Happy New Year in advance if this is the last time that we talk to you, but we will have basketball games, two tomorrow, one on Thursday, and two more on Friday on your broadcast home for Fort Bend County Sports, VipeFortBend.com. Goodbye and God bless everybody. Talk to you soon.